where today we're jumping into The White Lotus, season one, episode four. We have two more episodes to go, guys. And then we're gonna be done with this season. I cannot believe it's gonna be done, but we get to jump right into season two. I am with the shits, I am with the giggles. I love this show. Guys, please like this video, please share this video. Don't forget to tag this show on, on Twitter, on Facebook, um, hashtag Netflix, on um, Instagram, wherever you guys are, on whatever platform you guys are on, please just share and like and comment. Thank you. This might be blocked. It might be copyrighted by YouTube because you know how YouTube is. So let me jump right into that. This will be a full reaction, guys, for my second and third tier here on this beautiful, beautiful platform that will always copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, once again, please sign up to one of those platforms, most likely Patreon, and help support the channel and get to see that full reaction today. I'm ready to jump into this. I cannot believe this is almost done with this season. This show gives me laughs and giggles and I need it right about now. So without further ado, let's jump into The White Lotus and find out exactly what The White Lotus has got to give. I like doing this. I feel like a bobblehead. It is so beautiful. Your sunnies. Well, they're shells. Pretty shells. I don't know, you're just... Sexy. You're so real. And sexy. Was the hotel here? Well, they were the ones that actually evicted us from our lot. You terminated our lease illegally. Damn. And now you work for the same assholes that stole from you? I gotta make a living, you know? I have to go before she wakes up. Why don't you want her to know that we're hanging out? Is she your friend? Yeah, she's my friend. As long as she has more of everything than I do. That family is crazy. Oh my god. I hate you. You're fake. Fake. Damn girl, you are going on a. locker room, by the way. I fell off the wagon yesterday. What, the whole thing with Lani put me on edge, so I, I took a Xanax. And then I took another, and then another. The father staying in the trade winds asked me to fuck him up the ass. What? I'm not going down that road again. Then get rid of Bill. I did scuba. Mm-hmm, and the eight hours after that, we ended up eating dinner at the restaurant. It wasn't very festive. I'm sorry. Chose his sex life over his family. Well, that sounds familiar. So I never really got to know him, you know? Are you gonna participate today or are you gonna go on another bender? Participate! <sighs> Already paid for it. Mom, Paula can't keep eating this much fruit. Eat some meat, Paula. Eat a sausage. I don't know. <laughs> Did Quinn sleep on the beach again last night? You can't just make him sleep on the beach where he can be washed away with the tides. <laughs> It is mostly clickbait for like no money. And yeah, the industry does suck. And maybe that's just because I'm not great. You're like, great. Like I'm just not. No. I think you're great. But I know what you mean. And I'm worried that now it's just gonna get worse. Because now you can afford expensive facials. Maybe I get involved in a great nonprofit and and I just put journalism on the back burner. That's so weird. The dad is a perv, and the son always stares at my boob. What? Oh, she's home. She's coming out to the table. I feel like I failed. But... Oh, no. No. Just reminded me of, of, you know, sprinkling fish food in an aquarium. Oh, my God, you know. Am I feeding my mother to the fishes? Is that what she would have wanted? It's not going to Hope you're enjoying your breakfast. <laughs> yeah, get, uh, get some. You're not so mad about that whole Trevor thing, are you? No, not at all. You can trust me. I'm not gonna, like, swoop him out from underneath you. <laughs> yeah, I, I trust you. Did you get your backpack back? I, I gave it to one of the Beach Boys. You did? Yeah. Thank you. You have our 
backpack. It's a green backpack. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in your office. Yes, I do remember that. I'll I'll go to the office and get it for you right away. Just come back hey, to man, it. Hey, man. Hey, man. Excuse. Hey. Um, I think it's uh, good. I think it's cool. I'm sorry. I gotta deal with this. Tommy, I was sent to fetch a bag. You looked right at me and you kept walking. My apologies, so sorry. You put us on a boat with a crazy lady who's having some kind of fucking memorial service. It was not romantic. It was a dumpster fire shit show. I had no idea, I'm sorry. I think this is really gonna turn then things I around. Then I don't want it. What I want is to speak to your boss. Our general manager, Mr. Zioli, is at a conference this week. Yeah, I want to get in touch with him. I will have someone bring you his business card with his cell phone number to your room. And you can call him at your leisure. <laughs> I can't go another day without a phone. You had my phone all day yesterday. I'd love to help, but I need to have my phone. I'm getting calls from work. But you guys are gonna regret this. He doesn't have any friends. Of course he does. Hiroki Takeuchi. Hiroki Takeuchi moved back to Japan. All's well that ends well. Thank you. Bye, Dad. Bye. How are you? I'm a little hungover. I thought you might enjoy some peppermint tea before oh, you left. Thank you. I just love peppermint tea. <laughs> Seriously, Blenda, I'm not kidding. You, you should have your own wellness center. You should. I'm someone who can make that happen. You should really think about it. I'm flattered and I'm very much interested. I want to talk about this more, but I'll be way more clear after my oxygen facial. The bong is here, the weed is here, but the pills are gone. No. What about the cake? Can you try to include Quinn a little bit more in your voodoo ceremonies and whatever else you do? But he is a straight, white, young man. Nobody has any sympathy for them right now. And I just feel like we should. Really impressive they are. It is almost impossible for us to hire them. Until now, they're the only people that you've ever hired. Yeah, don't you have enough of them on staff? Like Quinn, can feel a little alienated from the culture right now. Mom, Quinn, I think he's gonna be okay, Nicole. Paula's meds are missing, and so we need to go find them. It's urgent. She's not gonna have like a seizure or something. Now, I know you said you didn't want my surprise, but I took the liberty of bringing it anyway. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Mom! I know it's only your honeymoon. What are you doing here? Hey! Oh, oh my God, look at her face. Poor thing, she's white as a sheet. <laughs> I was just so tense from the wedding and all the weeks leading up to it, I know you were too. And then I talked to you on the phone, honey, and you sounded so upset, you had me worried. Be a little love and then be on my way and go meet Kathy at the Mauna Kea. Please don't be mad at your mother-in-law. Oh my God. It's definitely not the room I booked. Trust me, I know. Why did they give you this room, I wonder? The whole thing is an absolute blur. I don't remember anything, do you? To you? Also very pale, but now you have a little more color and it looks great. Have you ever seen the ocean? Have you been surfing shit? It's so pretty. I want to get that, don't you? It gives it some character. I'm so angry. Like plants are obstructing the view. I think I said some things that I probably shouldn't have. Like what? But having sex with mom was like eating a plate of live worms. Getting her to forgive me was hell. Yeah, I bought her a pair of bracelets for $75,000. What? You're a monkey. Like possessed. And then later, you regret it. And you do regret it. There's the man, and there's the monkey. Where is this music? I think this is my room. Well, it's no wonder it's not working. <laughs> I'm so confused. Sorry, <laughs> we were drinking on the boat. You yeah. said that. You said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying Hawaii? You you here with your family? My family's not here either. My uh, kids are grown. Wife's gone. I'm gonna be staying here through the weekend, and you're alone. And I figured, well, why don't we just go grab dinner? I did have a plan. Oh. Well. But I could change it. Yeah. Okay. Great. That I mean, that's terrific. I'm Tanya McQuad. 
Nice to meet you. What? Is it okay if we push off our dinner till tomorrow? I, I got asked out, believe it or not. You know, I got so excited about our conversation, I decided to write up a business proposal. She doesn't want to do business, right? Or something? Bye. I have Mr. Patton on the line. Oh, shit. Enjoying your mother? You said you were going to bring me that number of the general manager. <gasps> and the girls from the trade winds are in the lobby. What do they want? They want to talk to you. Oh, fuck. There's stuff missing from my bag. What kind of stuff? Important stuff. Paula's medication. We can then do a proper search. Never mind. There's too many to list. Child, he ain't going through it in this episode. He's like, found, he found Jesus. Oh, my name's Queen. I was on the... Local staff will be performing some traditional Hawaiian entertainment, which will begin right now. Oh, that's the guy. That guy was hitting on you. Probably because he was high on a ketamine. He looked like he wanted to fuck you, Dad. Olivia, come on. 75,000. Quinn, Why? it's not polite to talk about how much things cost. Asking in now, because there's going to be a very loud luau show. Music and handsome men in grass skirts. I'm loving this. Have a lovely dinner. Mango sticky rice, uh, sweet salad, and uh, ruby. This seems like all of the white straight men are doing just fine. They're still thriving. I mean, for years I was the good guy. You know, I was the one in the room saying like, "Hey, that's not cool." And now I'm the bad guy. Or at least I shouldn't say anything on account of my inherited traits. It's someone else's turn to eat. Yeah, it's not all about you, Dad. Let's center the narrative around uh, Paula. Do you know anything about Paula? Do you? I know that she goes to college with you. We're not on a job interview. We're on vacation. So Your balls are swollen. They've deflated. See? It goes both ways. What do I stand for? Bubba, why don't you tell my mom what you were thinking about? What was I thinking about? I finally figured out journalism is a sucker's game. I didn't say that. Well, I mean, I think we all... That's a great idea, Rachel. I love working with all my charities. It's a great way to give back. I really want to get a job. No, why would you do that? <laughs> It's just limiting. You can do so much more by being on boards and hosting events. I want to know, how did you get involved with the BLM? I just think that's so interesting. And the BLM moved the headquarters at Colorado and uh, they have a law enforcement program. And... Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter? Bureau of Land Management. Huh? 300 rangers across 10 states have reported to me. But those jobs are so awful, honey. They make no money. Yeah. yeah, but I don't need to make a lot of money. Your job would literally be to ask yourself for money. It's all about money. It's all about the money. Your wedding took years off my life. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. I loved every minute of it, and I cannot remember a thing. I'm not kidding. I don't remember anything. It's a blur. They just want a better seat at the table of tyranny. No. That's just you, Mom. What does it matter what we think? If we think the right things or the wrong things, we all do the same shit. Virtuous person when we're all eating the last fish and throwing all our plastic crap in the ocean. To the room, I don't feel good. Do you want me to come with you? Thank you for your help. No problem. Not giving him Randy's phone number. He's trying to get me fucking fired. You don't know this about me, but I'm, I'm five years sober. And uh, <sighs> when I fall off the wagon, I get very uninhibited. And right now, I'm even more uninhibited. I want to get you naked. What have I got to do? It's funny tonight. You from Hawaii? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, obviously. I'm sorry, that was such a stupid question. Well, it's, okay. it's, it's fine. mom showed up how would you feel about that it'd be fine it'd be just fine plus it would never happen because you can't afford the plane ticket oh. where, are those pants? where are you going i'm gonna go eat shit on this guy wait, wait. we're in the middle of a fight <sighs> you're in big trouble i know that's barney for all these white people that stole their islands. It's depressing. I'm your friend. You're kind of crazy too, girl. Look this guy who's drugs and the blinds are open. I believe he's gone for the day. <laughs> you sure about that? There's someone in there, I can hear him. <laughs> Dude's going down. You are fun now, bro. Well, well. <laughs> that was hysterical. Um, <laughs> there's so much I want to say, but I know my mom is watching this, so I'm not going to say it. And obviously I'm going to edit out the part that I'm screaming and hollering about. Um, but you guys should just put your imaginations together. If you're gay, you understand exactly what happened. Um, that shit was hysterical. Um, yes, so this episode has to be my favorite episode of this. Actually, is it? I think it is. I think it's my favorite episode of the season. Not only did we get um, that lady whose mother's dead, when she talked about sprinkling her mom's ashes into the water, and it was the same as sprinkling um, little uh, things for the goldfish, I was gagging because honestly, now that I think about it, it really is true. <laughs> Imagine. Um, hysterical. Um, also, she was a standout character, duh. And then, um, the guy's mother coming in, who I love that actress. I think she's one of the funniest people ever. Did you guys ever see that movie? I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was called, but she puts her hands on underneath her armpits and goes like this. Some superstar? Something like that. I think that's what the movie was called. And she's like, when I get nervous, I put my hands underneath my armpits and I smell it like this. If you haven't seen that movie, I think it's called Superstar. It's really, really funny. I think that's when she first started out. Um, but regardless, I would give this episode a 9.5. And then um, the son, like the father and the son, I think are the weakest of that family. Uh, nobody's names. Um, they're the weakest uh, characters in this show, but everybody else I find amazing. By the way, I need to go to Hawaii because if men look like that, I'm like totally in. Um, I actually, there's, well, I don't want to talk creep, but some Hawaiian people, like, some people who live in Hawaii added me on Instagram and I was going through their pictures. I was like, wow, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous men. Um, shout out to them. But anyways, uh, yeah, this was definitely a 9.5. I love this episode. I really can't wait for the next two episodes. Where are we going to go from here? Things are only going to pick up. The resort owner, he, him doing all these drugs, he's clearly making bad decisions. It honestly reminds me of the reasons why I stopped drinking so much. I used to drink like almost every day and I lost I lost phones, da 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 da, and I would do dumb shit like that. So, um, watching this makes me realize, like, thank God I stayed away from, like, I don't do drugs and I stopped drinking so much. Um, I drink, like, once every, like, two months or once every month. Like, it's rare. Um, and every time I do, I regret it. So, they're sad. Um, but yes, this episode was Life, Liberty, and Justice. Guys, please comment down below. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye.